Let me speak to all of us who are privileged to be leaders of churches today. It's not enough to ask people to pray. We must teach them what to pray. Every event in this church has its intercessory guidelines that keeps the people praying on focus, praying on target. We have prayer guidelines for the year. Even Shiloh, we have 40 point prayer lines published and distributed among all members. It's not enough to pray. We must know what to pray. It's not enough to know how to pray. You must know what to pray. It's a lot of joy. It's a lot of joy. We have church growth prayer lines that pump in. You can read those prayer lines and you are praying. I'm not saying this is what to pray. Father, one, 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 two. Father, two, two, three, four. Father, five, ten, eleven, twelve. Father, so you, you don't need to be looking for how to pray it. The newest convert can pray those prayers with all fervency and get results. It's a lot of job. I told my son in the Lord yesterday, I said, I must be listed among those elders who labor in word and in doctrine. No assumptions. No assumptions. No assumptions. Outreach prayers on target. Not once did rain disturb us all through the invasion agenda. No once. You come for. And then every prayer line must have a scriptural background. That is not just, oh God, oh God. You see, there is a place for knowledge in all these things. Go and pray. Okay, pray what? So they get there. Oh God, oh God. They say, I should come and pray. I don't know what, but oh God. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Let me read this testimony. Wonder Double Job from one Oyegunle Telana was at ground zero level to the extent that he has no worship offerings but that was in his career. Participated in Operation Rescue Agenda by engaging aggressively in kingdom focused prayers, praying for five hours during the day and two hours every night. So you can't do that except to know what to pray and what to praise before you and you are committed to it. Now, keyed into prophetic word of God's servant by allowing God to engage him in so many. Got a miracle job, a multi-billion organization with a salary that can only make one speak in tongues. And an official car to match. Now, that is a period of six weeks only. Everything tongue. A package that can only make people speak in tongues. That is, you get your you know, Prasiano to cinema. <laughs> because you lack words to express. When you are waiting for change, you are wasting your life. You enforce every change you desire by engaging with kingdom instructions with all fervency and aggressiveness. Everything turned in six weeks. Everything turned. I'm not even sure it's six weeks because it happened within the period. And the period was six weeks period. We prayed for one week and fasted. And then we all for six weeks of operation. And everything turned in six weeks. Now watch it. Matthew 6.33 works like fire. Let me just appeal to all of my precious co-laborers in the vineyard. 
vibrant ministries, but we we'll still be more vibrant. Great ministry, but we we'll still be far greater. All of our pastors that are hearing me right now, all you need in your life is to make Matthew 6.33 become your lifestyle. And everything will start lining up without sweat. That is the word of the Lord. Prayer is a powerful stewardship platform whose rewards always come in the open. Nobody saw this man praying five hours in the day and two hours in the night. But God who saw him in secret rewarded him openly. You can change your unwanted situation by giving God the room to bring about such changes through your obedience of faith.